If you ever got one of these notices from the IRS and it came certified mail, we had a sign to get it. It says notice of intent to seize, levy your property. And you're shaking in your boots here, scared, not knowing what to do. Rightly so, as there is a fire underneath you. The IRS is putting lots of pressure. Well, I'm here to help you out and let you know what your options are. All right, so what is this notice? This is called, like I said, a notice of intent to lien or levy. So the IRS is warning you that you have 30 days from the date on the notice before the IRS takes collection action. What can they do? They can levy your bank account. What does that mean? They could take money out of your bank account. They could garnish your wages. They could take directly from your income, your wages, or they can take your state tax refund. Other things they can do is lien, put a lien on your record on any properties that you own. So if you try to sell, the IRS is going to get paid first. And or if you owe over $62,000, they can revoke your passport. Like I said, we got a fire underneath us. We need to do something. First option, obvious one, pay the amount that you owe. You can either do this online or you can do it with a check on the notice itself, it does tell, give you instructions on how to get that done. So you kind of take a look right here. Hey, that's how you pay online. Or if you want to do it by check, it does kind of give you instructions on how to get that done here. Now, I'm assuming that's not why you came to this video. So let's keep moving on. Number two option is get on a payment plan to pay this thing off. Now, before you get on a payment plan, you will need to make sure that you filed all of your tax returns. You essentially have two ways to get on a payment plan roughly generally speaking if you owe under 50k you can get a payment get on a payment plan online i got a video on one of these things check it out the other option is if you owe over 50k you got to call the irs to get on a payment plan i recommend that you call collections or acs automated collection service with the irs the number is right here 800-829-3903 all right so the meat and potatoes of this video how do we hold off collections? Option number three, what can we do? We could get a hold on collection, generally speaking, so long that you haven't done this previously, you don't have like a bad history of the IRS, for anywhere from 30 to 45 days. The way you do this is essentially just call that number that I gave you, the 800-829-3903. Give them a call and say that you need a hold on collections to give you time to either file missing tax returns or to get your financial statements ready. If you're getting useful content out of this video, be sure you help me out as well. Hit that like button so more people see this and or subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. All right, so option number four here is if you need more time than the 30 to 45 days. Now, if you do, there is essentially a plan B that us tax professionals like to use here. No, I'm not talking about, you know, the accidental sex here. This is the accidental, I owe too much tax debt and I need more time on collections. This is what we call a 180 day full pay hold. So what that means is the IRS will give you 180 days to pay your account in full. Now, at the end of 180 days, you better have a plan to get this thing paid off, whether that be in full or on an installment agreement, which they will allow for. So keep that in mind. It is called 180 day full pay. But if you get an installment agreement before that 180 days is up, that's totally fine too. So if you got to notice the notice of intent to levy the CP 504, you need to make sure you do something. One of the four options, pay this thing off in full, get on a payment plan, or get a hold on collections, whether that be the 30 day or and or the 180 day full pay. Hope the video was helpful. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much.